Hey ladies, how you doing? Happy Tuesday. Guess what? Tomorrow is Divine Mommy Day and we are going to have so much fun tomorrow. And you know why it's gonna be so much fun? Because we're gonna be together. Because in our morning group, we're gonna be talking about karma as it relates to self-love. And in our afternoon group, we're gonna be talking about self-judgment, how it got there and where it can go. But you know, thinking about these two topics, it brings up some really important questions. When it comes to judgment, do you really even know what you're judging yourself on? <laughs> I mean, I had to really think about it. Yeah, there's the typical stuff, the mom guilt that, you know, we kind of all wear around our neck like a yoke. Um, but I had to really get down and dirty and really admit to myself some things that I'm really holding myself to task for. Like when I eat something that I know isn't healthy, I didn't even realize I have a little voice inside my head that says, Oh, you're gonna have to exercise for that one. So sometimes it can be really hard to just figure out where that little voice is coming from and what it's saying because we get so habituated to hearing it, we forget that it's even there. So let's talk about this together. Let's talk about judgment. My gosh, we live in a world so full of shoulds. How could we not be judgmental on ourselves? But let's figure out how to let that go so we can step into a beautiful, positive place of surrender and acceptance. And that fits perfectly with what we're gonna talk about in the morning group. We're gonna talk about karma as it relates to self-love. Now those are two things that you don't really hear together too often, karma and self-love. But you gotta think about it. Karma right, the bad stuff that we label as a ha ha, karma's a bitch. It doesn't always have to be like that. Those effects are not the causes. The causes lie in here, in our consciousness, for a lot of the karma that's happening in action, in real time, right? And what causes those consciousness patterns are called vasanas. They're like irrigation ditches in our mind, right? So habituated thoughts like judgment, like our belief systems kind of create irrigation ditches. And believe it or not, before we know it, we are unconsciously creating a world, our world that validates it. Yes, it validates it. So if we really don't have a firm foundation of self-love, if we really don't believe that we deserve to be loved and completely feel lovable for our whole lives, guess what? Unconsciously, we are gonna create relationship dynamics with ourselves, with the world around us, with other people that validate it. And that's karma, right? That's the bitch. That's what we wanna let go of. So you know what else? The way to release negative karma is to create something called a satsang. That's also a Sanskrit word, which means just compassionate and wise company in which you can be authentic. And I don't know of any place more authentic for me or safer for me than our Divine Mommy groups. Because it don't matter if you've come once or you've come a hundred times. When you walk into our circle, you are loved and you are accepted for the wise, amazing woman that you are. So come and join us on Wednesday, two groups at Unity Church, 9.30 to 11, 12 to 1.30. We are gonna be having fun. We're gonna laugh and get silly. We're gonna go deep and every place in between. And we need you to do that. So have a great day, namaste, and I love you.